everybody. Welcome to My Suburban Oasis. Today we're going to be looking in this woodland garden at where I'm going to be planting my azaleas and then you get to watch me do the work of getting them in the ground. So I'm excited to do this today because we're getting to the end of the planting season and I have a number of azaleas in this bed but I have two of these that I'm going to plant today. So this is called the Anna Kruschke rhododendron. And uh, this blooms in the spring with a pink bloom. And I have two of these that are going to go in the holes. They get five feet tall to four feet wide. Um, it does take some time because they are not uh, fast growing. You can see this year's growth is about a couple of inches. So um, it's not a problem if you find a spot where it's not quite as big as that. But we're going to put these in. I'm going to dig some holes, throw some Espoma Biotone in there to help the roots get started. And um, then I'm going to show you all of the rhododendrons where they're at. All right, let's get started. So I've got one here, and then I have one over here. So we'll get started with this one. We'll do that one, and then bring you in to show you Alright guys, well I got them planted in the ground now and I'm going to show you how they fit in. I'm super happy about the way that they uh, went in the ground. The soil over here is um, just like other woodland soil, very friable and light. Um, we had for years dumped leaves back here so it's full of leaf mold and all sorts of good stuff that azaleas and rhododendrons like. So I have one small one over here that I planted this spring. Um, these were clearance too, so the leaves don't always look that great, but you can see there are buds forming for next spring, and they were very cheap, so um, it was a good deal. And then this is the new one, and then I have another of the clearance spring plantings that I made here, and then one that I moved from another place in the yard where it was not doing well, and it is just happy as can be here which is why I planted some others you can see the giant buds that are forming on this one so <clears throat> I think I'm gonna get some blooms on that one and I haven't seen blooms on that one for years and over here I have another spring planted azalea right here and then the one that I planted right now so that is a total of six um, rhododendrons in the same area, which I think will make it look just beautiful in the spring when we get some blooms because this is uh, darker 
spot, but it gets a lot of sun in the spring. So they should thrive here. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video and find my woodland garden to be as relaxing as I do. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and even hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching. Bye.